in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Nay, I swear by this city, Mecca, and thou art an indweller of this city, and the begetter and that which he begets. We verily have created man in an atmosphere. Thinketh he that none hath power over him? And he saith, I have destroyed vast wealth. Thinketh he that none beholdeth him? Did we not assign unto him two eyes and a tongue and two lips and guide him to the parting of the mountain base? But he hath not attempted the ascent. Ah, oh, what will can be unto thee? What is the ascent? Is. It is to free a slave and to feed in the day of hunger and not find near of kin or some poor wretch in misery and to be of those who believe and exhort one another to perseverance and exhort one another to pity. Their praise will be on the right hand. But those who disbelieve our revelations, their place will be on the left hand. Fire will be an owning over them. I'm reading for you from chapter 90 of the Holy Quran in the verse 1 the Almighty is telling us and saying I swear by this city Mecca Mecca is the city where Prophet Abraham and Ishmael built or shall I say rebuilt the Kaaba the house of God, the very house of, the very first house of God that was built actually by Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, when he descended from heaven to earth after committing the mistake and the sin of eating from the fruit of the tree, including his wife Hawa. They were both transported with the devil down to earth. The Almighty said, there you will live and die, and I'm going to send my messengers to you. Whoever follows my messengers will be rightly guided and will have an everlasting life in paradise, in happiness. For those who disbelieve my revelations and follow their own lust and desires, I'm going to fill hell with them, including the devils. So Prophet Abraham he built that house, rebuilt that house, because after thousands of years of mud and hurricanes, and what happened to Prophet Nuh, Noah, peace be upon him, the world was flooded. So the Kaaba was lost under the sand. But Prophet Abraham was guided by the Almighty, sending the Holy Ghost, Jibril, alayhi salam, Rohul Qudus, the Archangel Gabriel, was sent down by the order of Almighty to guide Prophet Abraham in these matters. So he rebuilt that place with his son, Ismail, Ishmael. This is also in Genesis, in the Bible. It mentions about Prophet Abraham and Hagar, and Ishmael. Go ahead and check it out. But here, the Almighty is swearing by Mecca, by the city of Mecca. Mecca, Mecca. It is also mentioned in the Gospel, in the Bible. Mecca, which is Mecca. And the Kaaba is there. The black stone. Hajar Aswad. So this was the, a place of worship built for mankind. So they would worship none but one God. So we worship, we Muslims do not worship the black stone itself, the Kaaba, we don't worship the Kaaba. The square that you see, the black square that you see, we don't worship that. We worship the Lord of this house which is God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who created the heavens and the earth in six days and mounted the throne directing all things. And his knowledge encompasses all things.
so and you o muhammad are free sallallahu alaihi wasallam of restriction in this city so the almighty is telling the prophet peace be upon him more than 1400 years ago that do whatever you want in this city you are free and by the father and that which was born of him so here the almighty is keep on swearing in this way we have certainly created man into hardship so yes we are created in hardship we are born when we're hungry we're crying when we have pain we're crying when we have a problem we're crying 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 complaining crying complaining crying so we grow in our lives in this way we have to learn we have to go to school you have to learn you have to study 12 years just to become a doctor so we are keep working hard so we are working into hardship but then the almighty says does he think that never will anyone overcome him the almighty is asking a question from mankind think is he that none has power over him so you're doing all these things and you think you're in control but the almighty says you think you're in control no 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 we're not in control actually the almighty is in control later on you will find out in your in your life don't ever underestimate the power of the almighty he just lets you go on with whatever you're doing then at a certain point he will either bless you and forgive you and guide you or may the almighty save us from his punishment and his obedience to him and his commandments think is he that none hath power over him and he saith i have destroyed vast wealth think is he that none beholdeth him we have certainly created man into hardship does he think that never will any one overcome him he says i have spent wealth in abundance does he think that no one has seen him have we not made for him two eyes and a tongue and two lips and have shown him the two ways but he has not broken through the difficult pass and what can make you know what is breaking through the difficult pass it is free of a slave or feeding on a day of severe hunger and no fan of near relationship or a needy person in misery and then being among those who believe and advise one another to patience and advise one another to compassion those are the companions of the right but those who disbelieve in our signs those are the companions of the fire over them will be fire closed in may the almighty save us from the hell fire so believe and follow the commandments of almighty follow his commandments to the best of your ability and do not ever say oh well i did so much wrong i don't think god is going to forgive me no don't think like this no matter how much you have committed 
disobedience and sin, the Almighty is the most compassionate, the most merciful. If He wills, He can forgive you. As much as the foams of the oceans, if you have committed sin, the Almighty will forgive you. But you must ask for forgiveness and say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. I seek forgiveness of my Lord. Subhanaka tubtu ilayka wa ana awwalul mu'mineen. Glory unto thee, I turn in repentant toward thee, and I am the first of true believers. So keep on making the prayers. Whatever the Almighty brings into your heart, make that prayer, ask for help, and follow His commandments to the best of your ability. So this was chapter Al-Balad, which means the city. <laughs>